हेलो हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वी रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू प्लीज टेक देअर सीट्स द प्रोसेशन इज अबाउट टू बिगिन हॉलमध्ये असलेल्या सर्वांनी कृपया आपल्या जागेवर बसून घ्या कॉन्वोकेशनचं प्रोसेशन लवकरच सुरू होत आहे Good morning everybody. I request all the invited guests to please be seated in the hall. The procession is about to begin. Good morning everyone. I request all the invited guests to please be seated. The procession is about to begin. Thank you. ceremony
resulted in the establishment of three public universities, two private universities, out of which the Y Patel Education Society institution deemed to be University Kolhapur is one. Under his vision and guidance, the D.Y. Patel Medical College Kolhapur was established in 1989. The college is recognized by the National Medical Commission of India for undergraduate and postgraduate programs. During its formative years, the college was affiliated to Shivaji University Kolhapur and from June 1998, it came to be affiliated with Maharashtra University of Health Sciences, Nashik. D.Y. Patil Medical College today is a constituent unit of the D.Y. Patil Education Society institution deemed to be University Kolhapur, which was established in 2005. It's a proud privilege that this university has been re-accredited by NAC with A grade in 2017. The university also features in the top 150 under the university category in India as per NIRF ranking. The university today offers 70 undergraduate and postgraduate programs between D.Y. Patil Academy College, D.Y. Patil College of Nursing, Center for Interdisciplinary Research, and D.Y. Patil College of Physiotherapy and Hospitality. With a bustling campus of over 2,500 students in total, ongoing research educational activities and advanced infrastructure have contributed to achieve this honor. The university convocation position is a right for the for the graduates, enriched with the order of precedence, costumes, musics and pictures. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the procession of the 11th convocation of D.Y. Patil Education Society, institution deemed to be University Kolhapur. request everyone in the audience to stand for the procession.
we request all graduates to kindly take their assigned seats. We will begin this event with the university song. The song that is the spirit of thousands of souls growing under the sky of the university. Please remain seated till the song is played. जावे पुढे पुढे जावे पुढे पुढे ज्ञान विज्ञान विमुक्तीचे जडूया जोगडे जडूया जोगडे ज्ञान घेऊन यशवंत वाजावे पुढे पुढे ज्ञान विज्ञान विमुक्तीचे जडूया जोगडे शिक्षण क्षेत्रातील लौकिक डी वाय पाटील विद्यापीठ डी वाय पाटील विद्यापीठ ज्ञानाधीन शिक्षण हा चिध्या दिवाजींचा झाला श्वास मार्गदर्शन आशीर्वाद दादांची लाभली सात समाज सेवा लोक जागृती नांदे नित्य मना दिवाळ पाटील विद्यापीठ ज्ञानाधीन is pleased and honored by the presence of great personalities in the fields of education research and sociology we offer a warm welcome to our guests i request honorable chancellor dr sanjay d patel dy patel education society institution deemed to be university kolhapur to welcome our chief guest honorable dr dinkar m salunke a two hour of alashi emeritus scientist former director international center for genetic engineering and biotechnology new delhi thank you sir I request Honorable Dr. Rakesh Kumar Mudgal, Vice Chancellor, D.Y. Patil Education Society, Institution Deemed to be University Kolhapur, to welcome Srimati Shahida Parveen Ganguly, ACP, CID Cell, Jammu and Kashmir Police. I request Honorable Vice Chancellor to welcome Mr. Vasant Appa Sahib Bosle, Editor, Daily Lokmat. Thank you, sir. After this warm welcome. I request Honorable Dr. V. V. Bhosle, Registrar, D. Y. Patil Education Society, Institution Deemed to be University Kolhapur, to invite Honorable Chancellor Dr. Sanjay D. Patil to announce the commencement of convocation.
I request all the students to kindly maintain silence and be seated at your respective places. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I request you to please declare that this convocation ceremony is open. Thank you, sir. I now request the Dean of Faculty of Medicine, Dr. Rakesh Sharma, to present the candidates who qualify themselves for the degrees. I request all the graduates of the Faculty of Medicine to please stand. I request the students of Faculty of Medicine to please stand on their respective places. Honorable Chancellor, sir. I present to you the candidates in the Faculty of Medicine who have been examined and found qualified for undergraduate degrees, postgraduate degrees, fellowship programs, and Bachelor of Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy. Pursuant to the decision of the Board of Management to accept the recommendations made by the Academic Council to confer degrees, I pray that these candidates may be admitted to the degrees. On behalf of those who have been permitted to receive their degrees in absentia, I pray that they also may be admitted there too. Thank you, sir. I request Honorable Chancellor to grant permission. In my capacity as Chancellor of the University, I hereby grant the request made by the Dean, Faculty of Medicine, to confer upon the graduates the degrees in person and in absentia. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I request the graduates of Faculty of Medicine to take their seats. I now request the Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Mrs. Suchitra Rani Rathod, to present the candidates who qualify themselves for the degrees. I request all the graduates of Faculty of Nursing to please stand.
morning, everyone. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you the candidates in the Faculty of Nursing who have been examined and found qualified for undergraduate degrees and postgraduate degrees in nursing. Pursuant to the decision of the Board of Management to accept the recommendation made by the Academic Council to confer degrees, I pray that these candidates may be admitted to the degrees. On behalf of those who have been permitted to receive their degrees in absentia, I pray that they also may be admitted there too. Thank you, Madam. I request Honorable Chancellor to grant permission. In my capacity as Chancellor of the University, I hereby grant the request made by the Dean's Faculty of Nursing to confer upon the graduates a degree in person and in absentia. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I request the graduates of Faculty of Nursing to take their seats. I now request the Dean of Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies, Dr. C. D. Lokhande, to present the candidates who qualify themselves for the degrees. I request all the graduates of the Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies to please stand. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you the candidates in the Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies who have been examined and found qualified for the postgraduate degrees and Doctor of Philosophy. Pursuant to the decision of the Board of Management to accept the recommendations made by the Academic Council to confirm the degrees, I pray that this candidate may be admitted to the degrees. On behalf of those who have been permitted to receive their degrees in absentia, I pray that they also may be admitted there too. Thank you, sir. I request Honorable Chancellor to grant permission. In my capacity as Chancellor of the University, I hereby grant the request made by the Dean, Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies, to confer upon the graduates the degrees in person and in absentia. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I request the graduates of Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies to take their seats. I now request the coordinator of Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, Dr. R. S. Patel, to present the candidates who qualify themselves for the degrees. I request all the graduates of the Faculty of Allied Health Sciences to please stand. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you the candidates in the Faculty of Allied Health Sciences who have been examined and found qualified for the diploma and certificate courses pursuant to the decision of the Board of Management accept the recommendation made by the Academic Council to confer diploma and certificate. I pray that these candidates may be admitted to the diploma and certificate on behalf of those who have been permitted to receive their diploma and certificate in absentia. I pray that they also may be admitted there too. Thank you, sir. I request Honorable Chancellor to grant permission. In my capacity as Chancellor of the University, I hereby grant the request made by the coordinator, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, to confer upon the candidates the diploma and certificate in person and in absentia. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I request the graduates of Faculty of Allied Health Sciences to take their seats. I request the principal of Faculty of Science, Mr. Rudir Bardeskar, to present the candidates who qualify themselves for the degrees. I request all the graduates of the Faculty of Science to please stand. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you the candidates in the Faculty of Science who have been examined and found qualified for the BSc Hospitality Studies. Pursuant to the decision of the Board of Management to accept the recommendations made by the Academic Council to confirm degrees, I pray that these candidates may be admitted to the degrees on behalf of those who have been permitted to receive their degree in absentia. I pray that they also may be admitted thereto. Thank you, sir. 
I request Honorable Chancellor Sir to grant the permission. In my capacity as Chancellor of the University, I hereby grant the request made by the principal, faculty of science, to confer upon the candidate the degrees in person and in absentia. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I request the graduates of Faculty of Science to take their seats. The university believes in instilling a sense of duty, values, and ethics in all its graduates. To symbolize these virtues, I request Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Rakesh Kumar Mudgal to administer the pledge. All the graduates are requested to stand, place their right hand on their heart, and repeat after him. We, the student of D.Y. Patil Education Society, deemed to be University Kolhapur, hereby pledge to uphold the principles and the values enshrined in our teachings, to respect and honor our teachers in all that we do, to give back to our university and to the society as we receive, and to conduct ourselves in a manner that will bring pride and joy to our alma mater. This we do pledge today. May God bless you. Thank you, sir. And now it's time to appreciate the academic talent of our university. We are delighted to present before you the gold medalist of different faculties and reward them at the auspicious hands of our guest of honor. I request Honorable Chancellor Dr. Sanjay D. Patil to felicitate Ms. Patil Yogita Dattatre, first in final B.Sc. nursing examination and recipient of the D.Y. Patil University Gold Medal, May-June 2022. I request Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Rakesh Kumar Mudgal to felicitate Ms. Kadam Upasna Uday, first in PBBSC nursing examination and recipient of the D.Y. Patil University Gold Medal, May-June 2022. Honorable Chief Guest Dr. Dinkar Salunke to felicitate Dr. Rashmi NS, first in MD examination, May 2022, and recipient of the D.Y. Patil University Gold Medal. and sitting MLA for Kolhapur, Mr. Ruturaj S. Patil, to felicitate Dr. Lokapur Ashwin Anna Rao, first in MS examination, May 2022, and recipient of the D.Y. Patil University Gold Medal. We 
now announce the honors instituted by our faculty to commend the students who have excelled in specific subjects i request trustee and member of board of management honorable mr prithviraj s patil to felicitate dr katla vijaypal jayender with mr ramnath vittal wag gold medal for excellence in the subject of md medicine april may 2022 I request member of board of management and pro chancellor Datta Meghi Institute of Medical Sciences Vardha honorable Dr Ved Prakash Mishra to felicitate Ms Rane Sejal Tushar with Dr P B Jagirdar award for excellence in the subject of community medicine Jan Feb 2022 Thank you sir I request member of board of management honorable dr vijay khole to felicitate ms diya more with malan madhukar sabnis memorial award for excellence in the subject of ophthalmology january february 2022 Thank you sir we are happy to announce that the university has instituted a best outgoing student award from this year this is the result of a generous endowment from dy patil vidyapeet alumni association the award consists of a certificate and prize money recipient of this year's best outgoing award is mr gupta shubham lal babu prasad i request honorable chancellor dr sanjay d patil to felicitate him with this prestigious alumni award thank you sir we are happy to announce that mr ankur jain is the recipient of this year's dy patil university gold medal in mbbs he will receive his award in absentia we are also happy to announce that mr ritvik roy is the recipient of this year's mrs hemalata ramnath wag gold medal for excellence in general medicine he will also receive his award in absentia we now present the candidates who are being awarded phd in this convocation i request honorable chancellor dr sanjay d patil to present dr m pandian the degree of doctor of philosophy in medical physiology he completed this degree under the supervision of professor dr mrs padmaja desai april 2022 I request honorable chancellor to present Mr Darade Milin Manik Rao the degree of doctor of philosophy in civil engineering and environmental health sciences he has completed this degree under the guidance of professor dr satish pawask and professor dr s h pawar april 2022 I request honorable chief guest Dr Dinkar Sadunke to present Anujay Madhuri Pratap the degree of doctor of philosophy in medical physics 
she completed this degree under the supervision of professor dr padmaja and pavaskar in april 2022 I request honorable chief guest to present Pujari Sachin Shivaji the degree of doctor of philosophy in physics he pursued this degree under the guidance of professor dr umakant m patil july 2022 thank you sir I request honorable vice chancellor Dr Rakesh Kumar Mudgal to present Muni Ratnam N Sengeri the degree of doctor of philosophy in medical physics he completed this degree under the supervision of professor Dr Padmaja and Pavaskar August 2022 Thank you sir I request honorable Mr Tejas S Patil to present Jadhav Satish Baji Rao the degree of doctor of philosophy in physics he completed this degree under the supervision of professor Dr Padmaja Pavaskar November 2022 Thank you sir I request honorable Mr Ruturaj S Patil to present Shrishagar Jivita R the degree of doctor of philosophy in stem cells and regenerative medicine she has completed this degree under the guidance of professor Dr M G Joshi and Dr R K Sharma November 2022 Thank you sir I request honorable Mr Prithviraj S Patil to present Tardakar Kishore R the degree of doctor of philosophy in stem cells and regenerative medicine he completed this degree under the supervision of professor Dr M G Joshi January 2023 Thank you sir I request honorable Dr Ved Prakash Mishra to present Arun Kumar Parth Sarathi the degree of doctor of philosophy in medical microbiology he completed this degree under the supervision of professor Dr Prem Chand Shadija January 2023 Thank you sir I request honorable Dr Vijay Khole to present dhanaji tanaji wag the degree of doctor of philosophy in medical anatomy he has completed this degree under the guidance of professor dr vasudha nikam february 2023 Thank you sir we are happy to announce that Padalkar Navnath Shankar has been awarded the degree of doctor of philosophy in physics he pursued this degree under the guidance of professor dr j l gunskar june 2022 he will receive his degree in absentia we are also happy to announce that sadavarth shrikant vaiju has been awarded the degree of doctor of philosophy in physics He pursued this degree under the guidance of Professor Dr J L Gunskar July 2022 he will receive his degree in absentia Khalate Suraj Anand Rao has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Physics he pursued this degree 
under the guidance of Professor Umakant M. Patil, August 2022, he will also receive his degree in absentia. Shinde Rohini Baraso has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Physics. She pursued this degree under the guidance of Professor Dr. J. L. Gunskar, August 2022. She will receive his degree in absentia. We are happy to announce the recipient for this year's University Excellence in Research Award, who is Dr. Padalkar Navnath Shankar. This award is an acknowledgement of his exemplary work and success which he achieved in his field, which includes 18 publications in reputed journals and five patents to his name. He will receive this award in absentia as he is pursuing his postdoctoral work in South Korea. I thank all the dignitaries for doing the honors and we congratulate all the awardees. It is now my honor to announce this year's awardee for the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa at this convocation ceremony of D.Y. Patil Education Society deemed to be University Kolhapur, Srimati Shahida Parvin Ganguli, ACP, CI Diesel, Jammu and Kashmir Police. I request Honorable Member of Academic Council, Dr. Nitin Vadhwani, to read the citation. Can I request you, Commissioner Madam, to kindly rise until the citation is read out? Thank you, Madam. It is rightly said that some are born great, but others achieve greatness with their grit, courage, and conviction. Ladies and gentlemen, Shahida Parveen, the first female IPS officer to serve the Jammu and Kashmir police. <laughs> was born in a very conservative Muslim family in Mandi of Poonch, a district at the Indo-Pak border, Jammu and Kashmir. Youngest of the siblings, she lost her father at a tender age of four. Growing in a humble background, along with ups and downs of life, she got transformed into a young woman with mind and nerves of steel. During those days, she was moved by the atrocities of the terrorists and then decided to join the police force. Though there was a stiff resistance, Shahida Parveen joined Jammu and Kashmir police in year 1995 as a sub-inspector. There was no looking back after that. She spearheaded the special operations group and conducted several anti-terrorist operations and has eliminated over 90 terrorists. <laughs> no wonder she is called the Lady Encounter Specialist. She was in the hit list of various terrorist outfits. For her undaunted courage and devotion towards her service, and towards her motherland, Shahida Parveen was conferred with Police Medal for Gallantry, Director General of Police Commendation Card, Northern Army Commander's Commendation Card. Now this is a very rare honor received by any police officer. It is the Northern Army Commander's Commendation Card. <laughs> Group 8 Women Achievers Award by Group 8 TV Magazine, Dabba Hanitas Award by Colors TV, Worldwide Impact Award by AKBK Media Private Limited at, a, at the Russian Federation New Delhi, Entertainment Trade Award by Entertainment Trained Magazine, Achievers Award by Films Today Magazine, World Women Leadership Congress Award by Global Women's Leaders, Global India National Excellence Award by Nari Niti Foundation, Manik Samman by Films Today, and many other awards. She has a rare distinction of getting a double promotion. She is a worker for upliftment of martyrs' families, orphans, and widows. She trains girls for self-defense. She is also a voice for the atrocities against women. She is married to Brigadier Gautam Ganguly, Seva Medal, Vishisht Seva Medal, who is another highly decorated army officer. 
She has a distinguished career spanning 27 years in Jammu and Kashmir Police. She is an alumnus of Morarji Desai National Institute of Yoga. She adopted yoga in year 2002, and since then it has become part of her life. She conducts free yoga classes. She has recently been conferred with master's degree in yogic sciences from Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University. Shahida Parveen is a trained investigator and has served the Joint Interrogation Center. As a mountaineer, she has passed with distinction from Nehru Institute of Mountaineering, Uttar Kashi. She is a consistent marathon runner. She is a motivational speaker. She is working towards empowerment of women through Shahida Parveen Charitable Trust, chaired by her husband. She is connected to several philanthropic organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed our proud privilege to confer Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, on Shahida Parveen Ganguly, a Jammu and Kashmir IPS officer who has played a pivotal role in fighting terrorism, in women empowerment, and in yogic sciences. Madam, we earnestly request you to kindly accept this degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, from the D.Y. Patil Education Society, deemed to be University Kolhapur. Thank you, Dr. Vadwani. I request honorary awardee, Srimati Ganguly, to kindly take their seat. We will now see a short video documenting the life and journey of our esteemed awardee. Video, please. खुदी को कर बुलंद इतना के हर तकदीर से पहले खुदा बंदे से खुद पूछे बता तेरी रजा क्या है। It is rightly said that some are born great, but there are others who achieve greatness with their courage and conviction. Shahida Parveen was born in a very conservative Muslim family in Mandi, Poonch district, Indo-Pak border, Jammu and Kashmir. She lost her father at a tender age of four. Life showed many ups and downs, making her grow strong day by day. During those days, she was moved by the atrocities of terrorism. She decided to join police force. Shahida joined Jammu Kashmir police in the year 1995. There was no going back after that. She spearheaded the Special Operations Group and conducted several anti-terrorist operations and eliminated about 90 dreaded terrorists for her daunted courage and devotion to the duty towards the service of motherland shahida was conferred with endless gallantry awards and citations married to brigadier gautam ganguly sena medal wishes to seva medal awardee a highly decorated army officer shahida is a motivational speaker and is working towards the empowerment of women in different parts of india she is a firm believer that yoga can transform the physical and mental health of humankind. She has recently been conferred with master's degree in yogic science. A recent addition of a feather in her cap is an award of Global Indian National Excellence Award 2022 called as Nari Niti Foundation of India Empowering Womanhood. D.Y. Patil, deemed to be University Kolhapur, is highly privileged to confer her with honorary doctorate. I want to say something with a share of the enemy. If you die from the enemy, if you die from the enemy, they are not the same. If someone says to the enemy, they are in the same way. Sometimes we are in the same way, we are in the same way. ये कैंचियां हमें उड़ने से खाक रोकेगी कि हम परों से नहीं हौसलों से उड़ते हैं। I now request Honorable Chancellor Dr. Sanjay D. Patel to kindly grant permission.
Thank you, sir. I now request the Honorable Chancellor to confer the degree upon Srimati Shahida Parvin Ganguli. I request all the dignitaries to kindly join him at the center stage. thank all the dignitaries for doing the honors and request them to kindly take their seats i now request dr shahida parvin ganguli to address this gathering जय हिंद नमस्कार ऑनरेबल पद्मश्री डॉक्टर डी वाई पाटिल जी रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर दिनकर एम सोलंके जी रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर संजय पाटिल जी रिस्पेक्टेड श्री सतीज डी पाटिल जी रिस्पेक्टेड श्री ऋतुराज एस पाटिल जी रिस्पेक्टेड श्री पृथ्वीराज एस पाटिल जी रिस्पेक्टेड श्री तेजस पाटिल जी रिस्पेक्टेड श्री वसंत बोसले जी रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर राकेश मुगदल वाइस चांसलर ऑल प्रोफेसर्स लेक्चरर्स पेरेंट्स स्टाफ एंड देयर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई स्टैंड हियर एब्सोल्युटली हम्बल्ड एंड थैंक थैंकफुल टू ईच वन ऑफ यू फॉर कन्फरिंग सच प्रेस्टिजियस डिग्री टू मी दिस इज indeed a great honor for me and my entire family i also take this opportunity to to congratulate all students for successful completion of your professional courses this is indeed a remarkable feat i am sure everyone here will take time to appreciate those who have contributed to your uh, success you all will now be the flag bearer of dy patel university and i am confident that each one of you will bring laurels to this extreme organization wish you the best for your future plans and efforts just want to share few paths pathfinder for you i follow them and call them pathfinders as during my service they helped me whenever i was lost always work with ethics and be human be an indian always and every time our villages need good medical infrastructures don't hesitate to serve in remote areas 
this will help you to remain attached to your roots some serve to serve the poor they need you respect and look after your parents and elders once again i thank thank the organizers for calling me for this prestigious program i will go back with my shoulders heavy thank you everyone jai hind thank you respected madam your words will surely instill a sense of purpose and duty in all of us it is my honor to announce this year's awardee for the degree of doctors of letters on risk causa at the 11th convocation ceremony of dy patil education society institution deemed to be university kolhapur mr vasant appa saheb bhosle editor daily lokmat i request honorable member of board of management dr padmaja desai to read the citation may i request the awardee to stand till the citation is being read citation in honor of mr vasant appa saheb bhosle editor daily lokmat mr vasant appa saheb bhosle is one of the prominent fearless senior journalist in the great galaxy of editors and mass media in the state of maharashtra at present he is the editor of kolhapur edition of lokmat a leading marathi daily of maharashtra he is a prolific writer and an excellent orator a very humble person and is a glaring example of simple living and high thinking Although born at Bhoj Taluka Chikodi in Karnataka his contribution to Marathi and Maharashtra is unique and extraordinary he inherited a rich tradition of character building moral stature and social role from his father he completed his graduation from Devjan College Arjun Nagar and post graduation MCom from Deshbak Ratnapa Kumbar College of Commerce Kolhapur in his college days he was very active in movements like elimination of superstitions dissemination of scientific knowledge women's liberation etc he was also involved in the movement for welfare of tobacco producer farmers in a violent protest he was imprisoned in fact he developed a good interest in print journalism which created interest in the environment of kolhapur therefore he sought the admission for certificate course in journalism in shivaji university kolhapur as a result he got the certificate he got the opportunity to work as a deputy editor in march 1986 in kesri in pune and subsequently from 1988 to 1990 in sangli as reporter his reports related to the area of zilla parishad agriculture cooperation politics rural development etc were very innovative and impressive taking into consideration his creative abilities kesri appointed him directly as a representative to new delhi His Gulliver's Travels took him to Pudari and Sakai. His shorted lived magazine People's Politics also shows his ardent love of journalism. His career received gradual elevation to shoulder the responsibility of editor of Lokmat. In the last decade he got the honor of being the best editor from the Lokmat group twice. Under his leadership the Kolhapur unit was adjudged as the best unit. his inspiring leadership and hard working nature brings integrity to the unit mr vasant bosle is a follower of gandhian thoughts which he inherited from his father he is of the opinion that the farmers movement should be strong and the leaders of the farmers should be supported he extensively participates in the coverage of the elections for legislative assembly and parliament nationwide he has been writing a column jagar since last 4 years it takes review of the status of the society for which a special class of the readers was created he has edited a book sayadrita varsa he is also a co editor for a book yashwantrao chavan nav maharashtra che shilpakar he is married to shrimati meena sheshu who comes from a highly learned family she is working as a secretary of the ngo savli which is dedicated to the noble cause of upliftment of the prostitutes to be brief her social work in various fields deserves great compliments as an ideal couple dedicated to the social service mr and mrs bosle 
took a daring decision to adopt the drowned rodent, neglected and unfortunate children. Such two girls and one boy whom they brought up have been seeking education in the prestigious educational institutions in India. This gesture shows the height of their commitment and contribution to the society. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our proud privilege to confer the Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa on Mr. Vasanta Appasai Bhosle, a renowned editor who has devoted his life for the social cause. <laughs> Sir, we earnestly request you to accept this degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa from the D.Y. Patil Education Society deemed to be University Kolhapur. Thank you, Dr. Desai. Please be seated, sir. We will now see a short video documenting the life and journey of our esteemed awardee. Video. Adarniya Vasant Bosle, sir. Purokami Vicharansa Varsa, Ai Vadlan Kodun Aplala Labla. Vidyarthi Dashe Pasun, Vivid Andolane Karatastana. Batmi Cha Madhyamatun, Brutta Patranshi, Apan Connect Hot Gela. आणि पुढे बातमीदार ते संपादक अशी भरारी आपण घेतली पत्रकारितेमध्ये जिल्हा परिषद शेती सहकार राजकारण ग्रामीण भागाचा विकास हे आपल्या खास आवडीचे विषय या विषयावर सखोल मंथन करत केसरी पुढारी सकाळ ते लोकमत असा प्रवास आपण केला संपादक म्हणून काम करत असताना सामान्य वाचकांसाठी सहकार्यांची चर्चा करून आपण विविध प्रयोग केले शेतकऱ्यांची चळवळ टिकली पाहिजे यासाठी आपण शेतकरी लढ्यांना सातत्याने पाठबळ दिले समाजातील सद्यस्थितीचा वेध घेणारे जागर हे विशेष सदर प्रत्येक रविवारी गेली आठ वर्षे आपण अखंडपणे लिहित आहात हॉस्पिटलमध्ये कॅन्सरवरील केमोथेरपीचे उपचार घेत असताना सुद्धा जागरचे लेखन आपण थांबवले नाही आपल्या या जिगरबाज आणि धाडसी वृत्तीमुळेच या आजारावर मात करून पुन्हा आपण कामात रुजू झाला आपल्या कामाची दखल घेऊन लोकमत समूहाने दोन वेळा बेस्ट एडिटर तर दोन वेळेला बेस्ट युनिट अवॉर्ड देऊन आपला सन्मान केला आहे जिल्हा परिषद नगरपालिका महाराष्ट्र विधानसभा आणि विधान परिषद लोकसभा आणि राज्यसभा येथील कामकाजाचे वार्तांकन करण्याचा अनुभव आपल्या पाठीशी आहे समाजातील दुर्लक्षित घटकांसाठी तीस वर्षे काम करणाऱ्या मीना शेशू या तुमच्या उच्च शिक्षित अर्धांगिनी सर्व प्रवासामध्ये खंबीरपणे तुमच्या सोबत आहे समाजाचे काम करत राहायचा निर्णय घेताना आपण दोघांनी स्वतःला मुलही होऊ दिले नाही असे असले तरी दोन मुली आणि एका मुलाला दत्तक घेऊन आपण त्यांचे आईबाप बनलात आपण दोघे वैचारिक क्रांतीचे मूर्तिमंत उदाहरण आहात जणू चळवळीतला कार्यकर्ता उत्तम क्रीडापटू निसर्गात रमणारा निसर्गप्रेमी मातीशी आणि शेतीशी नाळ जपणारा शेतकरी कुटुंबातील सदस्यांना आधार देणारा कुटुंब प्रमुख सर्वांना सोबत घेऊन काम करणारा लीडर अनेक विषयांवर अभ्यासपूर्ण भाष्य करणारा पत्रकार समाजाभिमुख काम करणारे संपादक नावाप्रमाणेच अनेक गरजूंच्या आयुष्यात वसंत ऋतू फुलविणारा मार्गदर्शक अशी आपली अनेक रूपे आहेत आपल्या या बहुविध कामाची दखल घेऊन डॉक्टरेट देऊन आपला सन्मान करताना डी वाय पाटील डीम्ड टू बी युनिव्हर्सिटी कोल्हापूरला अत्यानंद होत आहे आय नाव रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल चान्सलर डॉक्टर संजय टी पाटील टू काइंडली ग्रँड परमिशन Thank you, sir. Now I request Honorable Chancellor to confer the degree upon Mr. Vasant Appasai Bhosle. I also request all the dignitaries to kindly come forward and join him.
I thank all the dignitaries for doing the honors. I now request Dr. Vasant Appasai Bhosle to address the gathering. हेलो आज एक मला शेयर आटो तो भीड़ में सभी लोग अच्छे नहीं होते लेकिन अच्छे लोग एकेटर नहीं होते लेकिन आज डिवाइड पार्टी यूनिवर्सिटी ने अच्छे लोगों को इतना एकेटर किया है आप सभी का मैं आभारी हूँ आणि मित्रांनो मी संजय डी पाटील चान्सलर आजचे प्रमुख पाहुणे दिनकर साळुंके ऋतुराज पाटील खोले सर मुदगल सर सर्वच प्रमुख उपस्थित आणि मॅनेजमेंट काउन्सिलचे सर्व सदस्य डीन प्राध्यापक शिक्षक प्रमुख पाहुणे माझ्या मातोश्री अकाताई भोसले माझे मिसेस मीना शेशु मज भाऊ जयवंत भोसले आ सर्वच मजे लोकमतमले सर्व सहकारी विद्यार्थी मित्रनो आज मला खूब अवगड़सारक होते है कारण मी आयुष्या पत्रकारिता करता तुम्हें बरच संगित मी खूब का चल के पुरस्कार कभी घायस कि पुरस्कार अर्ज कराए नहीं मैं ठरवेल हो लोकमत अचिवर्स अवॉर्ड हा मजा इन हाउस आ लोकमत मदे लगन तिसर वर्षी अठरा पैकी अठरा संपादकपैकी मी बेस्ट एडिटर ठरलो हो तो इन हाउस कार्यक्रम होता पत्रकारिता करता ती पत्रकारिता कभी ही डोक जाऊ नए यी सतत्यान विचार करो तो वृत्त मी ग सहतीस वर्ष पड़ेल है अनेकांना आपल्या पत्रकारितेची होत असेल तर मदत करावी पण त्रास देऊ नये आपल्या पत्रकारितेमध्ये काही लोकांचे प्रश्न सुटत असतील तर ती मदत करावी काही लोकांचे प्रश्न मांडावेत काही लोकांच्या प्रश्नाची चर्चा करावी लोकांना अधिक माहिती देण्याचा प्रयत्न आपण करावा हे जे आपल्या मराठी वृत्तपत्रसृष्टीचा इतिहासामध्ये जे काही नोंदवून ठेवलेलं आहे ते पाळावं कारण आज काल मीडियाबद्दल लोक का चल फारस बोलत नहीं मीडिया मटल कि विश्वास ही ठेत नहीं अभी परिस्थिति है तरी सु प्रिंट मीडिया त्यात त्यात बरा जुनते सोन अस मनत कि थोड़स आम अजु ही आशा है पण यामध्ये आम्ही थोडे जबाबदार आहोत आणि आमच्यापेक्षा अधिक समाज जबाबदार आहे राज्यकर्ते जबाबदार आहेत असं माझं मत आहे की हा सगळा मोठा इतिहास लाभलेला आहे भारतीय मीडियाला कारण आपला मीडिया सुरू झाला तो स्वातंत्र्य लढ्यापासून सुरू झाला लोक जागृतीसाठी सुरू झाला समाजसेवेसाठी म्हणून सुरू झाला आणि आजही लोकांची अपेक्षा आहे की मीडियाने काहीतरी समाजासाठी करावं अशी अपेक्षा आहे आणि अशा परिस्थितीमध्ये आज मीडियामध्ये टिकून राहणं मीडियामध्ये राहणं हेच मुश्किल झालेलं आहे इतकी वाईट परिस्थिती आज कधी नाही ते मीडियाची आलेली आहे आणि जेव्हा आम्ही सुरुवात केली त्यावेळेला आणि आत्ताची परिस्थिती पाहिली तर हे दिवस येतील असं कधी वाटलं नव्हतं आणि आज मीडियात थांबावं की नाही थांबावं इतकी परिस्थिती भयानक झालेली आहे आणि म्हणून मला असं वाटतं की आपण याचा फेरविचार करावा आणि हे सांगण्यासाठी याचं कुठेतरी नोंद तुम्ही घेताय हे असं मांडणारा मी एक पत्रकार असल्यामुळं हा मी कृतज्ञतापूर्वक हा सन्मान स्वीकारतो आपण सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांना सुद्धा मी शुभेच्छा देतो आणि जे कोणी माझ्या प्रेमापोटी इथं आलेले आहेत त्यांनाही मी त्यांचेही मी आभार मानतो कारण मीडिया अलीकडच्या काळामध्ये खळबळजनक 
होण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो आहे विशेषतः इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया आल्यानंतर त्याचा प्रभाव खूप होता आणि त्या प्रभावाचा वापर करून समाजामध्ये खळबळ उडून देणे असा काहीतरी मोठा प्रयत्न करण्याचा प्रयत्न केला आणि गेल्या पंचवीस तीस वर्षांचाच त्यांचा इतिहास आहे पण तरीसुद्धा त्यांच्यावरलं विश्वास कमी झाला सोशल मीडिया त्याच्यापेक्षा वाईट पद्धतीनं प्रेझेंट झाला आणि तो गेल्या दहा वर्षातच त्याच्यावर विश्वास ठेवावा की नाही ठेवावा अशी परिस्थिती निर्माण झाली तरीसुद्धा प्रिंट मीडिया अधिक विश्वासारे वाटतो आहे लोकांना आणि तो विश्वास कायम राहील यासाठी मी प्रयत्न करत राहीन अनेक पत्रकारांच्या बरोबर काम करत असताना मी अनेक ठिकाणी जाण्याचा प्रयत्न केला अनेक तुम्ही फोटोग्राफसुद्धा बघितले मगाशी पण लोकांच्या बरोबर बोलल्याशिवाय लोकांशी समजून घेतल्याशिवाय आपण पत्रकारतेमध्ये समाजाचं मन त्यात येईल किंवा समाजाचं प्रतिबिंब त्यात उमटेल असं होत नाही त्यामुळं अधिक समाजाबरोबर एकरूप होऊन आपण काम करायला पाहिजे मीडिया चालवणं किंवा मीडियामध्ये काम करणं हे कुठल्याही आयवरी ट्रॉवलमध्ये बसून केल्यासारखं होत नाही शक्य नाही आणि म्हणून मला फिरण्याचा भयंकर आवड सगळ्या लोकांच्यापर्यंत जाण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो अनेक ठिकाणी गेलं पाहिजे आपण असा प्रयत्न करतो म्हणून मला वाटतं की ह्या सर्व प्रयत्नांचा आणि ह्या सर्व कष्टाचा या निष्ठेचा याचं फळ म्हणून आज कदाचित डी वाय पाटील युनिव्हर्सिटीने मला डॉक्टरेट दिली असावी माझी मातोश्री इथं आलेली आहे खरं तर तिच्यामुळं आम्ही शिकलो काही दिवसापूर्वी याच हॉटेलमध्ये संजय डी पाटलांच्या मातोश्रींचा वाढदिवस होता आणि मला माझ्या मातोश्रीची त्या दिवशी आठवण याच्यासाठी होत होती कारण त्यांनी आम्हा भावंडांना कसं शिकवलं याचं वर्णन ते सतेज पाटील हे सर्वजण सांगत होते त्यांच्या बहिणी सांगत होत्या आणि मलाही तेच दिवस आठवत होते की आमची आई जी अल्पशिक्षित आहे जिला मी कुठल्या साईडला शिकतो कॉमर्स की आर्ट्स की काय करतो हे सुद्धा माहीत नाही किंवा समजत नाही अशी आई जिच्या बाळामुळं जिच्या पाठिंबामुळं मी शिकू शकलो आणि इथं येऊ शकलो कोल्हापूरसारखं शहराने मला खूप अशी प्रेम दिलं अनेक मित्रमंडळींनी प्रेम दिलं कोल्हापुरातचा इतिहास जो आहे विशेषतः शाहू महाराजांच्यापासूनचा शिवाजी महाराजांच्यापासूनचा तारा राणींच्यापासूनचा ती प्रेरणा माझ्या मनात कायमची आहे आणि म्हणून मी स्वतःला शाहू विचाराचा वाहक समजतो नसलो तरी पण मला असं वाटतं की आपण ते व्हायला पाहिजे सर्वांनी कारण हा विचार घेऊन जाणारे समाजामध्ये काहीतरी करू शकले आणि कोल्हापूर हा त्याच्यासाठी अभिमानास्पद असं ठिकाण आहे गेली पंधरा वर्षे मी संपादक म्हणून करत असताना वावरत असताना कोल्हापूरमध्ये अनेक प्रेरणा अनेक वेळा अनेक गोष्टी आपल्याला मिळाल्या जिगरबाज शहर जिगरबाज लोकांचं शहर म्हणून हे ओळखलं जातं आणि हे सर्व करत असताना माझ्या पत्नीनी माझ्या भावांनी यांनी खूप मोठी मला मदत दिली खरं तर ह्या सगळ्या डिग्रीचा निम्मा वाटा किंवा निम्म्याहून अधिक वाटा तिचा आहे आणि आम्ही दोघांनी जे काही करायचा प्रयत्न केला ते सगळं सर समाजासमोर आहे आणि म्हणून मला असं वाटतं की अशा प्रसंगी अशी भीड अशी लोक चांगले तुम्ही जमवलेत तिथे आमचा गौरव केलात शहीदा प्रवीण यांच्याविषयी तर काय बोलावं त्यांनी काय केलं आहे त्यांचा जो प्रवास पाहिल्यानंतर मला असं वाटलं की हा सुद्धा एक ऑनर आहे की त्यांच्याबरोबर माझा सत्कार होतो आहे की अशा व्यक्तीच्या सहवासात आज आपण आलो इतका मोठा प्रवास त्यांनी केला आणि आपण नेहमीच पाहतो की काश्मीर हे आपलं हृदय असल्यासारखं पाहतो काश्मीरच्याबद्दल आपली आस्था इतकी मोठी आहे आणि जो स्वर्ग समजतो त्या स्वर्गामध्ये रक्तपात होतो आहे याचं दुःख आपल्या सर्वांना आहे आणि म्हणून मला असं वाटतं की त्यांनासुद्धा या सर्व लढ्यामध्ये त्यांच्या वाटचालीमध्ये बळ मिळव अशी शुभेच्छा मी त्यांच्यासाठी व्यक्त करतो आणि या विद्यापीठानं मला जे काही सन्मान दिलात जे काय सहकार्य केलं माझ्या सगळ्या वाटचालीमध्ये ज्यांनी मला बळ दिलं अवताडे साहेब आहेत सुनील कुमार लवट आहेत राजीव राऊत आहेत विश्वास पाटील आहेत मकरंद देशमुख आहेत राम जोशी आहेत असे सर्व अनेक जण आहेत की ज्यांनी मला माझ्याबरोबर काम करत असताना खूप पाठीशी राहिले आणि म्हणून मी आज यशस्वी झालो आणि माननीय शांतादेवी पाटील यांनाही मी या निमित्तानं नमस्कार करतो अभिवादन करतो माननीय दादांचा अनेक वेळा सहवास आम्हाला कमी मिळाला कारण आम्ही खूप मागच्या पिढीतले अलीकडच्या पिढीतले पत्रकार असल्यामुळं पण त्यांचासुद्धा प्रवास सगळा जर पाहिल्यानंतर एखादा माणूस काय करू शकतो हे आपण इथं पाहिलेलं आहे 
आणि ती सर्व धुरा संजय पाटील आणि संजय डी पाटील आणि बंटी पाटील वाहतात त्यांचं रोजचं पळणं काय असतं संजय सतेज पाटलांचं हे मी पाहिलेलं आहे ऋतुराज ही त्याच पावलावर पाऊल ठेवून चाललेले आहेत मी तर त्यांना म्हणतो की तुम्ही दिल्लीला जाता आणि देशव्यापी नेतृत्व कोल्हापूरचं करायला जा कारण कोल्हापूरच्या नेतृत्वाला अजूनही मंत्रिमंडळात केंद्रीय स्थान मिळालेलं नाही आणि ती खंत माझ्या मनामध्ये आहे खरं तर कोल्हापूरने अधिक उंची गाठली पाहिजे गल्लीतल्या राजकारणातनं बाहेर पडायला पाहिजे एवढी अपेक्षा या निमित्तानं व्यक्त करतो कोल्हापूर आणि आपण सर्वजण एका अभिमानानं स्वाभिमानानं जगणारे लोक आहोत याचा मला खूप आनंद आहे आणि मला वाटतं की ही जी काही मी काही निष्ठा जीवन पद्धती स्वीकारली त्याचा तुम्ही गौरव केला तर असं समजून ही डिग्री स्वीकारतो सर्वांचे आभार धन्यवाद Thank you, sir, for your words of wisdom. Now I request Honorable Rajeshtar, Dr. Vishwanath Bhosle, to announce the names of the degrees which were conferred at this convocation. In the 11th convocation of the university, I declare that the following degrees are conferred. Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, Faculty of Medicine, PhD in Medicine, MD, MS, MBBS, Fellowships Program, Faculty of Nursing, MSc Nursing, BSc Nursing, Post Basic BSc Nursing, Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies, PhD in Interdisciplinary Subjects, MSc Medical Physics, MSc in Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine, MSc Medical Biotechnology, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, Postgraduate DMLT, OT Technician Certificate Course, Dialysis Assistant Certificate Course, and Faculty of Science, BSc, Hospitality Studies. Thank you, sir. I now request Honorable Chancellor Dr. Sanjay D. Patil to deliver the exhortation. by the authority given to me as chancellor of this university i admit you to the degrees for which you are qualified and exhort you that ever in your life you prove to be worthy of the same in words and deed i admit also the other candidates to the respective degrees in absentia thank you sir we are here to celebrate and honor excellence in education we take this opportunity to welcome and honor shrimati sulbha panhalkar i request honorable shrimati sulbha panhalkar to please come on the dais i request honorable ai saheb sau shanta devi d patil to felicitate shrimati panhalkar aajcha samarambhat dy patil group cha vatine ha vishesh satkar hot ahe ha satkar ahe eka shikshikecha डी वाय पाटील ग्रुपचे अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर संजय डी पाटील साहेब आणि उपाध्यक्ष आमदार सतेज उर्फ बंटी पाटील साहेब या दोघांच्या शिक्षणाचा श्री गणेशा ज्या गणेश विद्यालयातून झाला त्या विद्यालयाच्या पहिल्या शिक्षिका सुलभा पनाळकरबाई यांच्या प्रति कृतज्ञता व्यक्त करण्याचा हा छोटासा प्रयत्न पनाळकरबाई ज्यांचा आदरपूर्वक कसबा बावड्याचे राजे असा उल्लेख करतात ते आदरणीय पद्मश्री डॉक्टर डी वाय पाटील साहेब यांच्या प्रेरणेतून आणि सहकार्याने सुमारे साठ वर्षापूर्वी म्हणजे सहा सप्टेंबर एकोणीसशे रोजी कसबा बावडा येथे गणेश विद्यालयाची स्थापना झाली सुलभा पन्हाळकरबाई आणि कैलासवासी सौ सुधाताई यांनी शाळेची सुरुवात केली त्यावेळी घरोघरी जाऊन त्या स्वत मुलांना शाळेत घेऊन येत असत डॉक्टर संजय साहेब व आमदार बंटी साहेब यांना पाटील वाड्यातून पन्हाळकरबाई शाळेत घेऊन जात पाटील घराण्याशी त्यांचे अतिशय जिव्हाळ्याचे संबंध होते दादासाहेब सौ आई शांतादेवी डी पाटील अर्थात आई साहेब यांचे विशेष प्रेम त्यांना लाभले आई साहेबांशी त्यांचे स्नेह आजही कायम आहे पाटील कुटुंबातल्या कौटुंबिक कार्यक्रमात त्यांना आग्रहाचे निमंत्रण आहे आज वयाच्या त्रेसष्ट च्या वर्षीही त्यांच्यातील शिक्षिका जागी आहे रंकाळा येथे योग प्रशिक्षणाचे काम त्या साध्य करतात 
आपल्या शिक्षणाचे प्राथमिक धडे देणाऱ्या पन्हाळकर बाई यांच्याबद्दल डॉक्टर संजय पाटील साहेब आणि बंटी पाटील साहेब यांच्या मनात अत्यंत आदराची भावना आहे अतिशय कष्टातून त्यांनी गणेश विद्यालय सुरू केले आणि त्याचा विस्तार केला अशा या थोर शिक्षिकेप्रती कृतज्ञता व्यक्त करत आज आदरणीय सौ आई साहेब यांच्या हस्ते विशेष सत्कार करताना आम्हाला अत्यंत आनंद होत आहे आज या ठिकाणी त्यांच्या ज्येष्ठ कन्या सौ सविता डोंगरे व धाकट्या कन्या फाय फाउंडेशनचे पंडितराव कुलकर्णी यांच्या स्नुषा सौ वंदना कुलकर्णी ही उपस्थित आहेत मी पन्हाळकर बाई यांना विनंती करते की सौ आई साहेब यांच्या हस्ते हा सत्कार त्यांनी स्वीकारावा आई साहेब आणि सर्व मान्यवरांचे धन्यवाद आय रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर वेद प्रकाश मिश्रा मेंबर ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ मॅनेजमेंट अँड रिनोड एज्युकेशनिस्ट टू ॲड्रेस द गॅदरिंग honorable <laughs> chancellor of this illustrious university dr sanjay patel esteemed chief guest who shall be delivering the convocation address for the 11th convocation of this university dr sarunke honorable vice chancellor Dr. Rakesh Mudgal, the two learned honoris causa awardees, respected Madam Parveena, respected Vasant Bhosle, members of the Board of Management, learned invitees, respected Ai Saheb, learned graduates, ladies and gentlemen on behalf of the board of management of the university chair i really feel enlightened and ebullient that the two honoris causa awardees whom the university has conferred with the prestigious dilit honoris causa they are the real role models befittingly decorated at this 11th convocation of this university ladies and gentlemen you shall agree with me that the entire purport of education is formulating the generations shaping the generations chiseling the generations articulating the generations and making them worthy men and women of substance but then every creativity needs inspiration and inspirations are to be drawn from where is a million dollar question contemplate the khant adhyaksh maharaj ji vyakta karnyat aali ke kadachit samajat ase pay kuthe ahet ki janche varti mastak thevavi ani aaj samajat hat ase kuthe ahet ki je aplya dokya varti ghyave in such a backdrop ladies and gentlemen i am just tempted to quote a small obituary which was put across by world famous scientist albert einstein on the demise of greatest human being on the surface of this earth mahatma gandhi and his obituary was quote generations to come 
it will be difficult for people to believe that such a person ever moved on the surface of this earth in flesh and blood, unquote. Reverberate the sense of this obituary. Is bhavna ko aap apne hrde ke antargat hrdeyangam karein. Aur aaj jin do vibhutiyon ka humne onris kauza ke saath satkar kiya. Kadachit aane wala samay bhi yahi kahega. It was difficult to believe that such creatures ever moved on the surface of this earth in flesh and blood. The message which I am wanting to put across, ladies and gentlemen, is very apt and very appropriate. I compliment Honorable Chancellor Dr. Sanjay Patil, and I am really proud to be a member of that board of management, which could present these two living role models, inspiring enough to the young graduates. He khari adarsha hai samaja samor. These are the emulations. These are the inspirations, and these are worthy of following the footsteps on. I am tempted to quote a very beautiful parable which was put across by Mahadevi Verma way back in late sixties. जब महादेवी जी कहती हैं कि पीढ़ियों के निर्माण दीवारों पर टंगे हुए तेल चित्रों के माध्यम से अगर संभव हो गए होते, तो तेल तेल चित्र भी टंगे टंगे दीवारों पर पीढ़ियों का निर्देशन कर चुके होते काश ऐसा हो गया होता दीवारे पर दीवारों पर टंगे हुए तैल चित्र पीढ़ियों का निर्माण न कभी कर पाए और न कभी कर पावेंगे तैल चित्रों की जगह समाज के बीच उठते बैठते अंगड़ाई लेते जब मानचित्र खड़े हो जाते हैं पीढ़ियों का निर्माण अपने आप हो जाया करता है दिस इज दिन देर फॉर इट्स नॉट ओनली दलेवेंथ कॉन्वोकेशन ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी But the two real life models, role models, inspiring models, instigating models, exemplary models, and emulative models, in Madam, who has been presented with this honoris causa and respected Vasanji, real role models, and therefore I am here only to record my sense of salutations to both of them and compliment all the graduates. Zindagi ki hakikaton ko inhi aankhon se dekh lo. क्योंकि ये महज इतिहास नहीं चलती जाती जीतती इब्दता है और इसी इब्दता को अपनी शाहियों से हृदय के अंकित अंतर्गत अंकित कर इसलिए स्वीकार कर लें कि इन्हीं कदमों के निशानों पर जिंदगी का फलसफा है इट्स इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आई सैल्यूट द एम्यूलेटिव मॉडल्स दैट द ऑनरेबल चांसलर हैज बीन एबल टू प्रेजेंट एट दिस लेवेंथ कॉन्वोकेशन सेरेमनी ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी देर फॉर माई सेंस ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स congratulations and salutations to the two dignitaries thank you very much for patient listening god bless you all thank you sir for the inspiring words your words will also guide us in choosing the right role models for all of us i now request honorable vice chancellor dr rakesh kumar mudgal to present his report and to introduce the chief guest for today honorable chief guest for the 11th convocation function of the university dr dinkar m salunkhe respected ai sahib saushanta devi dipartel honorable chancellor of the university dr sanjay dipartel esteemed member of the board of management dr vedh prakash mishra pro chancellor of the tamil nadu institute of higher education and research another esteemed member of the board of management dr vijay khole the former vice chancellor of university of bombay Sri Rituraj Patel, the trustee of DY Patel Education Society, and MLA from Kolhapur South, Sri Prithviraj Patel, trustee of DY Patel Education Society, ST members of the Board of Management and the Academic Council of the University, distinguished recipient of Honoris Causa degree, Sri Mati Shahida Parvi in Ganguly, and Sri Basant Bosle ji, my worthy colleague from the University, fellow academicians from sister institution of DY Patel Group, faculty and staff members, distinguished invitees, from friends from media, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all on this auspicious occasion when we are celebrating our 11th convocation we are greatly honored and privileged to have amongst us dr dinkar salunke an internationally acclaimed structural biologist and microbiologist as a chief guest on this solemn occasion we extend a warm welcome to you sir and are indebted for your gracious presence on this occasion
today total 520 students are awarded with diploma graduate postgraduate and doctor degree in various discipline i offer my heartiest congratulations to all the graduating students for their hard work parents and guardian for the sacrifices they made and faculty and staff member for the dedicated efforts ladies and gentlemen i'm extremely happy to report to you that within span of 17 years the university has gained high credibility and is widely recognized for quality teaching research in diverse fields and also for its outreach activities on this auspicious occasion i am delighted to place before this august gathering the progress made by our university in a, and a brief summary of our activities during the year university has been placed at 14th position amongst the medical universities by india today ranking 2022 government of maharashtra has awarded and certified the efforts of our hospital for providing high class quality healthcare services under integrated ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana and mahatma jyoti rao phule jan aarogya yojana college of pharmacy has been established offering diploma and graduation program in pharmacy we have started masters program in six specialization in, in physiotherapy and also announced the intake from 50 to 100 five new fellowships post md and ms have been started six patents three copyrights have been granted nine patents have been published 17 patents and 12 copyrights have been filed our faculty have produced high impact factor publication to the tune of 65 with impact factor as high as 18 we have published three books and authored three book chapters university have received research funding from dst worth 48 of lakh of rupees and 10 lakh rupees under startup india program of government of india ministry of education university also sanctioned 92 lakhs rupees for intramural projects to our faculty members our simulation and skill center at the hospital is a unique and comprehensive facility that provide high fidelity real life training for students and faculty in healthcare wherein during the last year we conducted 30 faculty and 445 student training workshop with 5665 beneficiaries university has organized 126 international and national seminar workshops and webinars university introduced dr dy patel fellowship scheme for phd scholars and also introduced saushanta devi t patel merit scholarship i bank has been established in the hospital for cornea donation and transplantation our medical college an active training partner of maharashtra government for community health officers under the skill india movement our hospital is providing training for general duty assistant and emergency medical technicians our hospital upgraded and modernized an icu called shishu raksha where all services are being provided for free rotary club of kolapur sunrise donated equipment worth 70 lakhs rupees for this particular unit our collaboration with spine foundation bombay is very active and complex spinal surgeries are done regularly seven of our faculty members have undergone advanced training and are being certified by mayo clinic us in the advanced simulation techniques one faculty member has been awarded with a prestigious international kramer fellowship of us and another faculty member has got selected for brain pool fellowship of korea 73 faculty members have successfully completed basic course in biomedical research certified by icmr indian council for medical research you will be happy to know that 89 of our medical graduates have qualified and got admission in prestigious medical college for post graduation by appearing the pg neat examination 2020 Nine postgraduate has got admission in super specialty program. Five students have been selected for USMLE and two have been commissioned in Army Medical Court. 14 hour PhD students have got scholarship under various fellowship schemes such as DST, SERB, Tetra Scholarships, Hathi Scholarship, Mahatma Jyoti Fuller Research Scholarship and Lady Tata Fellowship. Five of our PhD alumni have secured postdoctoral fellowship at leading universities in South Korea. Our students have brought laurel in various fields be it sports, outreach activities, bioethics, paper and present, poster presentation, declamation and debate, cultural activities, and also the prestigious placement at state and national level. We stand committed to improve and further strengthen our processes in teaching, learning, research, and healthcare services so as to help create a world that is economically prosperous, environmentally secure, socially fair, globally inclusive, and more predictable and resilient. Before I take my next pleasant duty to of introducing our chief guest i would like to say a few words to graduating students dear graduating students the only way one can remain ahead in today's knowledge intensive world is by learning i urge you to continually keep finding newer sources and newer ways of accelerating learning and remain updated i'm confident as you enter into the next phase of your life 
we will not only contribute to nation's progress significantly, but will also prove to be leader in shaping a more prosperous, equitable and sustainable world. I'm sure you will continue to work ethically and in a disciplined manner and will bring glory to your own self, your family and in turn to your alma mater. Once again, heartiest congratulations to all of you for your hard earned degrees and I wish you all the best in life and career. Now it is my privilege and pleasure to introduce our chief guest, Dr. Dinkar M. Salunkhe. Dr. Din Dinkar Salunkhe is an outstanding academician, a keen researcher and an able administrator. Dr. Salunke obtained his BSc and MSc in Physics from Karnataka University Dharwad, PhD in Molecular Biophysics from prestigious Indian Institute of Science, popularly known as IIC Bangalore, in the year 1983, and postdoctoral training from US Massachusetts. In his illustrious career spanning over 40 years, Dr. Salunke has worked as a director of International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, New Delhi, for over seven years during 2015 to 2022. He is currently working as Arturo Velasi Emeritus Scientist at the same center since January 2023 after demitting the office of the director of the same institution. He has been the founding director of the Regional Center for Biotechnology at Faridabad from 2009 to 2015. He established and led Structural Biology Group for over 25 years as National Institute of Immunology, New Delhi. Dr. Salunke's primary research interests are in structural biology and immunology with over 130 Publication to his credit, Dr. Salunke's work provides fundamental insight into understanding the body's defense against infections. Dr. Salunke has held many positions of professional responsibility in other organizations as well. He worked as a chairman recruitment and assessment board with S Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, popularly known as CSIR. He has been a trustee of the board of trustee of DBT, India Welcome Trust Alliance, chairman technical expert committee of Biotechnology Sport Program for Northeastern Region of India. He has been member of Life Science Research Board, DRDO. Dr. Salunke has been a recipient of many prestigious awards. Some of these are National Bioscience Award, Shanti Sobhru Bhatnagar Award, Ren Bexi Research Award, JC Board National Fellowship, and G. N. Ramchandran Gold Medal. He is an active fellow of all the leading science academies, National Academy of Sciences, National Science Academy and National Academy of Sciences and also the World Academy of S Sciences. With this brief introduction of our chief guest, I request and take this opportunity of in inviting him for his address. Dr. Salunke, please. Sir. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. Honorable Dr. Sanjay Patil, Chancellor of the Dr. D.Y. Patil University, uh, Dr. Rakesh Modgal, Vice Chancellor of the University, uh, Honorable Shahida Parvin Ganguly, who is the delete uh, honor winner of the university, along with uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Bhosle, who happens to be coming from the uh, district of Karnataka where I grew up. So we, we have the same culture and I feel indeed very proud of you being honored today, sir. Uh, members of the management board, uh, distinguished uh, 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 dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, uh, those who have received uh, uh, degrees and uh, honors, medals today, and uh, students of the university and the faculty. I indeed feel very privileged to be part of this function, uh, and I was quite overwhelmed that uh, uh, the kind of uh, uh, people amongst whom we are actually, I'm uh, 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 participating herein, and uh, uh, I'm supposed to be giving a, a talk where uh, such a strong dignitaries have been already given you great advice, 
and so probably I will add a couple of my own words in that. I understand uh, uh, Dr. D.Y. Patil University ranks among uh, very important universities in India and particularly with a focus in medical sciences, which was quite evident from the uh, address of the vice chancellor. And so in that sense, uh, the university has been contributing greatly to the health sciences education. So I will focus to a great extent uh, my talk related to health sciences. India's health uh, system, uh, as you all would know, is large, largely doctor-centric. And uh, the number of doctors is larger. Actually, there is a better relief. Unlike in the West, where there are a lot of uh, automation and so many uh, other things. Even though we have large number of doctors, we have many, many very well-equipped hospitals, yet, we are not sufficient in providing health support to uh, the entire 150, uh, cro 140 crore people in our country. And that makes it uh, the need for us to work harder to provide health for all. Uh, the UN um, uh, Sustainable Development Goals have been defined in 2015. And among the various goals that are to be achieved as per United Nations, uh, health comes third in that list, health and well-being. And uh, uh, it turns out that what was announced in 2014, the important thing to be done, has to be completed in 2030. So we have very little time to complete that. But as we all know, India's uh, talent in terms of ability to solve problems, world has seen is enormous. So we should be able to resolve all our health-related problems in next uh, uh, seven years. So uh, that is the focus that remains to be done with regard to uh, health system improvement in India and achieved health and well-being for all in 2030. So in that sense, the students who are graduating today, many of them are medical doctors. Some of them are not medical doctors but working in allied areas. All of you have a great contribution to be made. Uh, in addition to practicing your clinical role, you also have a requirement to work towards uh, other areas where there is a need. Most of the doctors trained in these days tend to go for clinical practice, although I understand there is a necessity for clinical practice because I may, as I mentioned, we do not have adequate doctors. But there is another domain where there is a desperate need for medically trained professionals, which is health research. And health research, as you know, is very important in terms of improving health system in anywhere in the world. Because you do have lot of, um, we, we do have lot of uh, uh, discoveries which have led to uh, solving problems or many diseases. We have been able to provide support from them. But as you know, there have been occasions when you have new health problems come. And the classic example of that is the pandemic that we faced in last three years, COVID-19 pandemic, for which we did not have any ailment. So it's very important that we contribute to health research along with health service. And uh, uh, there are a lot of people like me who are trained in natural sciences contributing to this, and they have done immense uh, uh, research, and that has helped in what, in fact, in encountering problems of COVID-19 pandemic. But it would really help if we have clinically trained people participating in health research, and I, of course, know 
from the report that uh, I heard this morning, there are a lot of research going on in Dr. D.Y. Patil University. So I actually urge the graduates that are coming out today to also participate in health. You, many of you may know, in United States, there is a very interesting course called MD PhD, where all those who are getting MD degree also participate in research. And because of that, they are able to uh, work at the interface of uh, doing research at the same time doing clinical practice. In fact, for about four years, I have worked with someone who was pediatrician for two days a week and basic science research for another three days. So it is actually possible for you clinically trained people to be able to practice in research uh, while doing clinical work in the hospitals. And that is something which is very important to be done because uh, COVID uh, pandemic is not going to uh, stop here. There will be something else that may come up at different times. Health research involves many things, including even public health issues. But I'm not going to uh, deal with all of them. I will focus on two things. One is uh, with regard to finding cure, which means drug discovery. I, as I said, do, we do have a lot of drugs that are very effective and work for almost uh, all the diseases. But there is a problem in terms of what is called as uh, uh, microbial resistance or MDR. And that leads to a drug which is effective today. It seems to become completely non-functional in few years. So it is necessary to keep discovering drugs with uh, continuous efforts, newer and newer drugs, and only then we can actually contribute to actu uh, health support in terms of whatever actually happens during the course of time. We cannot be quiet saying that there is an effective drug and we should be happy with it, but uh, no, almost all, including tuberculosis or something like that, there is always a drug resistance that comes in. And of course, as, as I said, COVID-19 kind of pandemic can lead to something uh, uh, directly relevant. Uh, the second one is what I'm going to talk about is not finding cure after the infection has set in, but to actually do something in a preventive manner. And there are many ways of uh, preventing uh, disease, but uh, one of them is actually uh, finding a vaccine. And you would know that we indigenously found one vaccine for COVID-19 and one we were able to manufacture. And that's why we were able to control the pandemic in entire uh, country of 140 crore people. Uh, the um, uh, COVID-19 pandemic was caused by infection uh, of a virus, which is called coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2. And this virus is a new virus, which was actually uh, first discovered in Wuhan, China. Actually, it is of animal origin. And it was actually seventh of coronaviruses, which went from animals to humans. So the reason for this transition from animals to humans is because this virus has genome which is very diverse. It has divergent genome and uh, it actually uh, uh, sort of uh, steps out through recombination to more uh, 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 more changes that would lead to it being able to sit on the surface of the cell proteins and get in and uh, create chaos. Lot of research work has been done in this virus. In fact, that is one of the reason uh, why I emphasize on research, because when the first infections were discovered, within a matter of uh, six months to one year, entire genetics and structure of this virus became very clearly understood. And the spike protein on the surface of the virus, which goes and binds to the cell surface receptor, was clearly defined where to buy, uh, uh, drug should bind where so that it can interfere in the process has worked out 
and that also led to defining several different types of vaccines. So uh, emphasis that I am giving is whole world has been able to contain this is because development of this vaccine has helped in terms of prevention, it has terms, uh, helped in terms of taking or handling the uh, uh, pandemic as well as making different therapeutic applications to be developed. Uh, India actually did a substantial amount of contribution in this endeavor. Uh, as per the statistics that was up to December 2022, 2.2 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccine were administered in India. Practically 95% of the Indians who were eligible received at least one dose of the vaccine. India made a humongous record of fully vaccinating 100 crore people against COVID-19 in a record time. Although initially we did lose about 4.5 lakh people, but once we were able to administer in a systematic way vaccine to all the people, we estimate through mathematical models, we have been able to save about 45 lakh people's lives. And that is important contribution of the fast going research in COVID-19 virus and its interaction with the host, which is humans. We have not only done this in terms of dealing with our own health problem, but the COVID-19 manufacture, uh, vaccine manufactured in India has been supplied to 150 countries. Uh, outside India, particularly many of them are very poor countries. So India has been remarkable in terms of uh, achieving this goal. India has been very active in terms of developing vaccines right over last 20 to 30 years. We are among the largest vaccine suppliers globally. In fact, 60% of vaccines of different types are supplied uh, by India, uh, including some of them being the largest number. US FDA approved factories of vaccine uh, uh, manufacture are actually based in India. So it's the research in vaccine development, research in drug discovery that has led to us being leaders in the field of biotechnology focusing on vaccine development and manufacture as well as drug discovery. The uh, India is largest provider of generic drugs all over the world. And uh, in fact, it is called uh, the pharmacy of the world. Uh, the impetus for generic drugs came from our ability to manufacture, rather do R&D in uh, our ability to innovate and our trained manpower or our human resource has been fantastic. And that is how we have become a world leader in this. And I know there are many places outside India have gone and given lectures. And one of the things, particularly uh, Africa, in fact, there is a major forum called BioAfrica, which I have attended a few times. And many leaders there actually come and talk to us in terms of what is the secret why India achieved this. And one of the reason uh, I believe is right from the early days, India has focused on uh, uh, scientific temper. We actually have taught people, as a result, we uh, uh, to think scientifically. As a result, we never had vaccine hesitancy as actually you find in Europe or in America. There are still some parts of America and Europe, people hesitate to take vaccine. And that is why the, it took much longer to contain uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic in some of those areas. I have actually given a TV interview in Italy where I had to talk to people to tell them there is absolutely no problem of vaccination. India has been doing this for last 75 years. Our universal uh, vaccination program 
where we give vaccine for children at a very young age. In fact, that program has been so successful that at the time of independence, our child mortality rate was so high. Today, it is actually improved to an extent that our life expectancy, expectancy has also increased by about 10 years in uh, these years. So is in spite of other problems our society faces, in spite of poverty of our many people, our vaccination drive in terms of uh, universal vaccination program, it has been accepted by our people and that's why we have been able to achieve some of the major goals for health and that is one of the reasons why I have been telling uh, you or coaxing you rather get engaged with health research in addition to being practicing clinicians you will be able to be of benefit to uh, uh, the very society from where you have got your uh, education you have got your support system and you would have done justice to the cause for which uh, Dr. D.Y. Patil University has been work working. So those who are getting degrees today, I really want to congratulate uh, all of them. Uh, it is clear that uh, uh, your uh, um, contribution, your contributions to health sciences be as primary uh, practitioner uh, of medicine or uh, as allied pa participant, you are in some sense uh, capital investment uh, for this country. Health is a nation building uh, uh, strategy. So if we have to make our nation strong, health is one important part. And therefore, you are going to be major players in building aspirational and self-reliant India. All of you would venture out there in an adventurous journey after you have come out of the college. It doesn't matter what you do, but one thing I would advise you, remember to be generous and uh, distribute your knowledge to all whenever there is a requirement of it. You, uh, the society may definitely be benefited by what you have gained in your studies during last few years. I again congratulate all those who have got degrees and particularly those who have received medals because they have been at the ultimate of their success. Today we celebrate your success and ta talent. One thing I want to tell you as you venture into wide world outside, remember there is no magic formula for success. In fact, I remember a qu uh, quote from uh, J.K. Rawlings, who is the author of the Harry Potter uh, books. I'm sure you grew up reading her books or watching her movies. And uh, Harry, uh, the, uh, the author says that we do not have any magic formula for changing the world. All that power to change the world is in your hand. So uh, you, you really need to chart your own path, we, uh, building on the education and knowledge you gained in this university. And wherever you, do, whatever you do, maintain the commitment in the pursuit of excellence. I wish you the very best for all your future uh, endeavors. And thank you for your attention. Thank you, sir. We are sure your words will inspire and motivate us to pursue and excel, not only in health service, but also in health and public health research. I now request Honorable Registrar Dr. Vishwanath Bosle to invite Honorable Chancellor to conclude the convocation ceremony. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I request you to please declare that this convocation ceremony is concluded. Now I declare that the convocation ceremony is over.
Thank you, sir. On behalf of D.Y. Patil Education Society, deemed to be University Kolhapur, I express my deep gratitude to all the dignitaries and each one present here for gracing the occasion and making it special and memorable. I request the assembly to rise and join the rendition of the national song. I request the assembly to wait silently till the procession leaves the convocation hall. All degree recipients are requested to remain in the hall. They will be invited to receive their respective degree shortly. All students are requested to be seated at their respective places. You will receive your degree certificates at your respective places. Please be seated at your respective places. <laughs> 